In this video, I will discuss Depth First Search and its visualization in the Java system. I'm on Java's hypertextbook for the Depth First Search algorithm. Many of the algorithms in Java have a corresponding hypertextbook. These hypertextbooks explain the algorithm to a student so they have some knowledge of the algorithm before using a visualization. Additionally, the hypertextbook explains any conventions of the visualization. I will now look at the Java visualization of Depth First Search. First, I go to java.org and click on the button to start the visualizer. Once Java opens, I click on Connect, select Depth First Search from the drop down menu, and click Visualize. We're now in the main visualization window for Java. On the left, we have a graph in which a depth first search will be performed on. On the right is a pseudocode version of the depth first search algorithm. The Java system allows us to move forward and backward in the execution of the algorithm. There are two items of note currently on the screen. Notice the words that are colored in green and blue. These correspond to the nodes that are colored green and blue in the graph. Additionally, a question has popped up. Occasionally questions come up which are randomly generated by the Java system. In this case, it asks, which of the nodes will be visited the next time line 6 is executed? In this case, the answer is H, but I'll put in K to see what happens. I type in K and click check answer and it says wrong, try again. I type in H, click check answer and it says correct. Additionally, Java has a quiz mode in which students are required to answer the question and the student results are sent to the professor for grading purposes. We'll continue through the algorithm. Another question has popped up. This time it asks, how many nodes will be added to the stack the next time a node is closed and the loop in lines 7 through 8 is executed? In this case, the answer is 2. So I'll type in 2 and click check answer and it's correct. Students can turn off questions by going to options and turning off show questions. However, in quiz mode, questions cannot be turned off. We'll skip to the end of the algorithm. And as you can see, the entire graph has been searched. 